Uh, we're now going to go and talk about OSP versus Cecilia Dapa. Um, the <coughs> former sanitation minister has filed an application to halt the case against her. And um, various media outlets have carried stories in, di in different ways. Um, the Republic Press says um, Cecilia Dapa, OSP lock horns as battle, legal battle rages on. Um, we have... Um, let me see which other people. Yeah, this one, the informer uh, says, I am hungry. Cecilia Dapa cries out. Um, the Herald says, uh, Cecilia Dapa refuses to be stripped naked by the OSP, and so on and so forth. So we have different ones here. Um, citynewsroom.com has this um, story here. Let me just read just a tiny snippet of it, and then we'll get into the conversation. Says, the court to hear Cecilia Dapa's application to unfreeze. Uh, bank accounts today. And the story says here, Financial Court 2 of the High Court Complex will today, uh, October 11, hear an application by the former sanitation minister, um, Cecilia Dapa, on the seizure and, uh, and freezing order filed by the Office of the Special Prosecutor. Now, Monday, 16th October, the same Financial Court 2 will hear an application by the OSP for leave to file a supplementary affidavit to provide further evidence uncovered against Ms. Dapa. All right, so the story is ongoing. And um, let me come to you, um, Honorable Dapila. Where, where are we with all of this, and what do you make of it? Well, I, I, I don't have any hope and confidence that anything good can come out of this Cecilia Dapa saga. The, Why the, not? the manner in which it has been handled will, will, can tell you that nothing good can come out of it. The reality of the matter is that, and even one person who didn't even believe in the office of the special prosecutor. Why not? I, I felt it was just, you know, duplication of function. We have, we have uh, 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 other agencies that can do a good job if they are resourced very well. So I didn't even believe in creating another office like that because first and foremost, you, you, the laws of this country will create the law and go and, and you know, leave a lapuna for people to exploit. So even the constitution itself, that is the way I see the constitution of this country. There are so many ways or lapunas in the constitution that people, individual, will have to use their discretional powers. And we know when people will have to use their discretion. discretion. If, the, if some of them don't have conscience, the manner in which they will exercise it. But that is how it is. The office of the OSP, with respect to Cecilia uh, Dapa hmm. and the letter of resignation, how the case, when the case was started, when the lady tended in the resignation and the letter, acceptance letter from the presidency, the, the, that looks like a love letter and all of that, can tell you that nothing good will come out of this. Nothing good. They are just doing plain tricks with us. Watch the ruling today. Watch the ruling today. They will give, they, they will give us... Why do you have man. prophetic gifts? Yeah, it's not prophetic. It is because of antecedents. Some of those things that has happened, you can tell where it will go. They will freeze her account. She will have access to her money. She will have access to her money. But is that? But if that before the OSB has gone, it, is, is, that, is that what we? Is it, that what like you, the question you ask? Yeah. Where are we heading towards? That somebody is appointed a minister. Just within a few years, he's so rich, and he has such money. But who says and, that? Who says, can, who says that money wasn't there before she became? But, but look, even 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 bro, where from that? Where from? Where did she get that money? She should disclose where she got the money. Okay. So they look at look at the, the the what the lady is telling us that the money is from her brother's uh, uh, wealth. Her brother gave the money to her to be paying her children's school fees. Mm. The brother's wife is saying that she never got anything since her brother died. And people have come to confirm that their brother was a shoemaker in Kumasi. Was a shoe boy in Kumasi. So what are they telling us? Oh, really? Ah, you've not heard the, that. The, 
the, the brother, the brother that, whose account who is, who is, is disbursing those monies. Those monies was those a, a shoemaker. Just a shoe maker in Kumasi. I so see. how did he get that money? Interesting. Please, they are throwing dust into our eyes. And I'm sometimes, I'm sad that I'm even a politician. That's why people don't respect us. People may, see us as may, thieves. May, maybe people see us as criminals. Maybe people see us as the ones who are the problem of this country. Maybe he owns it's a, because a, a of lucrative our, shoe business. What was your shoe business? What shoe business, bro? The wife of the woman <laughs> is saying that. Even when the <laughs> husband <laughs> died, she got nothing. And the wife was also, was also even pushing. Mm. If it is true that the, my husband left behind money, this money, then, then least, you should give it to me. Yeah, some should you give it to yeah. me. So I should have some so that I can also live better. The yeah. woman is struggling. The kids are struggling. So Madame Cecilia Dapa, the OSP and the government, they are just trying to cover up. Because look, when this issue but came if, out of but the if media, it's a, if it's a cover when up, this issue came if, out no, but, no, media, I, I can't agree with you on that. Because if it's a cover up, why would the OSP go to great lengths to go to the house, seize things, you know, confiscate. Yeah, yeah, but you see, when I say a cover that, up, that Rob, remember, all. remember, do yeah. you know when the story started? Do you know when the whole saga started? Well, is it not when she went to make a report that no, people had stolen the whole things? No, she's been in court for almost a year. Yes, that her she's things been, were stolen. Yes, yeah, she's been in court stolen. for almost a year. Mm. And, and people within the corridors of power, they knew of it until somebody blew it out. So the, it was, the, the whole thing was stinky. It was too bad that government will have to use the OSP. You know, they will have to use him for such tricks, for such gymnastics. So they had to let him step in to at least save the face of government as far as corruption and gov corrupt officials of government are concerned. Mm. The OSP wouldn't... This is a so, very... Yes, nice so they will have to it. use him so that at least they can tell Ghanaians to tell Ghanaians that they are doing something about it. Uh, but I can assure you, bro, nothing will come out of it. Glenn, this woman, Glenn, are you sure this is not a conspiracy theory? It's not a conspiracy. This woman <laughs> accounts will be. They, they will leave it for her. She will go and enjoy her money. And that is the difference between fighting corruption under Mahama and fighting corruption under President Akufo. <laughs> okay. That's the difference. Okay. Under Mahama, somebody, yeah. wishful thinking, yeah. if I make a million dollars, yeah. I will stop this business yeah. of politics. Yeah. And the person was, was fired. Was fired. Okay, all right. <laughs> so people have made so much money <laughs> they, under they, their they, houses. They, this they, is they, just Bola Minister, yeah. who has this amount well, Bola of money. Is, Bola, Bola makes money. Bola makes money, but Bola is very, there are Bola is big, very big ministries. But Somebody said looking. that there are some of the ministers who have money more than Ghana now. Um, <laughs> I, I think that we, we have to appreciate where we are as a nation today. Mm. Um, growing up in the late 70s and early 80s, people were summarily taken to Teshi and fired without giving, getting the opportunity to go to court to um, answer for themselves, to answer for whatever allegations were made against them. At a time in this country, the mantra was we are poor because they are rich. And so it was um, a taboo to be doing well, whatever you were doing. So the likes of and the very successful business people, the pianicans, the, the the Bwachi mattresses of, of, I mean, and this is all contributed to where we are today as a nation. But I can, I can, I can assure my brother that the Office of the Special Prosecutor was not created for gymnastics. Mm -hmm. As I know, the All African Games is, is coming next, uh, coming up next year. But it wasn't the purpose of which we created the Office of the Special Prosecutor because I was there, and it was a, one of the first piece of legislations mm -hmm. that the seven parliament did pass. Because as a party, we had promised people, and we have known the effect of corruption on our, on, on our economy. Yeah. Corrupt practices cost us billions of dollars yeah. every year. Big time. And so if we have a system that is dedicated mm. to investigating and prosecuting corruption and corruption-related matters, yeah. <laughs> what, is, what is wrong with that? And, and, but for the creation of the office of the OSP, Maybe issues like uh, Cecilia Dapa and the likes will not have come, come up like, like where we are. But a good thing for me is that um, we have a system in place where there are allegations against her. The OSP is at liberty to use the law as he, as he could within the framework that the office was created mm. to be, be able to prosecute her. Mm. 
And she, as a citizen of Ghana, also has a right to go to court to defend herself. True. This is how communities that have developed, that we want to copy, mm. or that, that we want to emulate, this is how they have developed. Yeah. So for me, it is good that the OSP can go to court seeking to freeze her assets. She can also go to court seeking to unfreeze her assets mm. until we come to the final conclusion. On this matter, yeah. let us not go back to days where it was, it was, it was, it was, it was, <laughs> it was illegal to be, to be doing well. I mean, you cannot sit here and say that her brother was a shoemaker, a shoe shine, you know, as, as, you want, as you want us to believe. I mean, let's, let's not, uh, uh, look, there, there, are, there are shoemakers who are very rich. And there are young people, young people in this country who are trying to make, who are trying to make professions out of making shoes. And now I, that, that in itself, it is, it, is, it is something that we have to encourage. Look, about two weeks ago, when the OSP went to court seeking to freeze the assets, there, there was one of the issues that, oh, there was money coming from the late brother's account. account. We had that. Yeah. As I yesterday, I was hearing that in this day and age, where families or organizers of funerals contract banks, to take funeral donations. So many times you go and a bank is there taking the donation. Mm. They open an account in his name. And the, name the signatories the the to that account, person. the name of the account is the, the oh, late, no. in the, name, the late. I am, the name telling, you, I am telling you what's there. In the name of the dead person. Oh, please. when you were speaking, I was here. Please. When you were speaking, I was here. I know, but, but that's, you cannot when say When you were that. speaking, I was here. No, but you can't say that. When you were speaking, I was saying, you see, see this is an attitude. You are very no, typical. You wait, you wait, typical you wait. Let, I was let, sitting there when, when you were speaking. Hear, let's hear him. No, 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 no. The let's name hear. of the account mm. was in the name of the late mm -hmm. and then the brother's name. Mm -hmm. With How? the signatories being Cecilia Dapa and another sister of hers. Really? That's, that's, that's information I'm gathering from yesterday. Okay. I am not here to defend some of this. That is why. It is good. The name that of account will... is the name of the account. Of course, it's, it's, it's the name it's of the are, account. Yeah. And they are there's, there's signatories to the account. Are people who are alive. So this is not an account that was created whilst the 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 the, the brother was alive. Mm. Right. So this it's it's just good. And I am happy. So they that put the just... account together ostensibly to do what? To so the, of, the, the, the source the main the source of the funds in the account mm. was a funeral donation. <laughs> really? Yes, that is what is coming up oh, from God yesterday. That's a lot that of That is what money. I got. This for is funeral donations. That is what I got. I see. That is what I got from yesterday. Interesting. You see, so it That's is just, it is good. It is good that she has a day in court. Mm. The OSP has his day in court. Mm. And let's let's get to this, this matter dealt with in the right quarters. And not go to the, uh, the, the court of public opinion to... Um, um, and declare somebody guilty okay. even before F the, the courts do. That's fair enough.